For the first time in 11 years, voters will decide on the approval of the tax rate for eight Hidalgo County school districts on the November 7 ballot. Andrea, tell us more about this. Some Hidalgo County residents will receive two property tax bills this year. The first one will not include school taxes, but the second one will. Tax Assessor Pablo Paul Villarreal Jr. says Hidalgo County will mail out the first consolidated tax statement by late October. After the November 7 election, Villarreal says eight school districts will provide their respective rates to his office, where the county will then process the tax rules. Once we have process the tax rules and we have the, the values and the tax rate, we'll come up with a, a tax statement. And then at that point, uh, we're gonna, the districts will be sending out the supplemental uh, statement to, to that community, to that district. The districts that will send out a second tax statement are Edinburgh CISD, Hidalgo ISD, La Jolla ISD, McAllen ISD, Mission CISD, Monte Alto ISD, PSGA ISD, and Progreso ISD. O'Hallan Demerath and Castillo law firm partner Eden Ramirez explains school taxes will not be included in the first statement because voters have yet to approve the actual rate that will be imposed. The state of Texas did a tax compression on school districts and what the tax compression did was that it reduced the total tax rate that a school district can have on a local property. And According to Ramirez, the upcoming election will provide school districts the opportunity to recover some of the funding from the tax compression to remain competitive with other districts in the long run. Edinburgh CISD Board of Trustees Vice President and Hidalgo ISD Superintendent Javier Salinas says the election is the only opportunity public schools have to maximize their funding. Edinburgh went down 18 pennies in taxes and we went up almost 4 pennies in taxes. So we've already decreased our taxes to our constituents and our taxpayers. But now we're just saying that we need those three, three pennies of that. Those affected can expect their second tax statement by the end of November. For KBAQ-TV in Edinburgh, Andrea Flores.